honor and privilege to welcome uh, the Confederation of Greater Toronto and Chinese Business Associations today. We are very happy to have you here joining us. Uh, it's a beautiful heat day out on the water. Uh, looking forward to taking you out on the tour. Um, and we, are, we again are very happy to host you today. Uh, as part of today's agenda, uh, we are going to have some opening remarks by Mayor Lehman, uh, followed by a presentation by our investor team. Uh, and then, of course, uh, a presentation by the Confederation of Greater Toronto Chinese Business Association. We'll then have the opportunity to have some lunch and do some networking, and then we'll head out on a, a bus tour of the city to highlight some of the investment opportunities uh, in our great city that we'll be previewing in our presentation today. So to get things started, uh, I'm very happy to welcome Mayor Lehman to the podium to say a few words. Thank you for coming today. Uh, it's a, a pleasure to welcome you, and I, I know uh, many of you, uh, there are a few folks here who uh, I had the pleasure of spending 10 days with as we uh, did a whirlwind tour of China and Hong Kong in, in 2012 as part of the trade mission that uh, the Confederation organized. Um, and uh, I did have the opportunity to meet with uh, the leadership from uh, your organization uh, at the near the airport earlier this year. And, uh, that really highlighted to me uh, the work that uh, you are doing across Greater Toronto, uh, but also how much I needed to introduce you to my home city. Part of that that uh, meeting was really uh, in my chair, uh, my um, role as chair of Ontario's Big City Mayor's Caucus to talk about some of the issues affecting uh, both your uh, community and the, the broader business community. Uh, but today we have the opportunity of sort of showcasing Barry to you and we, we hope to give you messages that you bring back to your own membership uh, and uh, if there's a, a takeaway from today it's we hope that you talk about this. We hope that you see things that you'll want to talk about uh, and, and on that note we are going to begin with a, a presentation uh, which sort of gives you a bit of Barry 101. But a couple of things I wanted to mention off the top in, in my welcome. Um, this place sort of sells itself, doesn't it? Uh, I got married about here. Uh, my, my, wedding, my wedding reception was here. Uh, and well, I guess technically I got married at the church, but we had the reception here. Uh, and and this, this particular spot, this facility and this waterfront are very much central to what Barry's all about. We're a waterfront community. Uh, and what is so unique here, and it's even a little different, uh, better, I think, than uh, you know, uh, uh, some of the waterfront communities on Lake Ontario, in that all of the land on our waterfront is in public ownership, right? From uh, Minette's uh, Beach, which is a city park, all the way around the waterfront to the eastern boundary of the city of Barrie. Uh, there's a six kilometers of uninterrupted public ownership of the waterfront. And, that's a trail, a multi-use trail on the North Shore. In the central waterfront, it's our parks, uh, Centennial Park, uh, Heritage Park, and uh, here at Allendale Station Park, the South Shore Center, and so forth. But we're a waterfront community, and much of our civic life revolves around the events that happen on the waterfront actually year-round. Pretty obvious that uh, with weather like this, you want to be outside, and we have something virtually every weekend. Uh, but in the winter time, and uh, uh, indeed in the shoulder seasons, we have major festivals, including Winterfest here, which is one of Ontario's top 100 festivals. And that is at the coldest time in the winter, in the middle of February. Uh, you got to embrace it. When you're in central Ontario, we have four seasons. They range from 40 degrees above zero to 40 degrees below zero. And, and people who live here really do embrace that, that lifestyle. Um, we are, so I, you know, I often describe Barry as being that perfect spot halfway between Bay Street and the dock. Uh, we are located uh, between Canada's uh, uh, recreational playground in Muskoka and the economic engine of the country, the Greater Toronto Area. Um, uh, we have seen in recent years, uh, especially in the last <coughs> year, a real estate market that frankly we haven't seen before. Uh, before I came over here, oddly enough, I was on the phone with an executive in the private sector. We were talking about a couple of things to do with this business. He said, well, you know, it's interesting. I bought a waterfront property on um, one of the little streets just uh, west of here in what's called Minette's Point. Um, he said, uh, you know, I bought it thinking I was going to move there. Uh, and I paid uh, $760,000 for it in May. And he said, somebody came along and just offered me nine hundred dollars for it, so I took it. This four months later. And those sort of stories we're hearing a lot. And, and the, the Real Estate Association here, just to give you a sense, um, their July numbers 
the uh, average price for homes in the MLS system was up 16.5% year over year this year from last. Now this is a story that's going to be familiar to all of you because you're seeing the same sort of activity in your own markets. Uh, in Barrie, this is a little more unusual and I think it, it speaks to the connection now into the greater Toronto area economy uh, and certainly the fact that living here is pretty good uh, and a lot more, a lot of people would like to do it. Uh, we also have a shortage of supply, to be frank, right now, and that's creating a lot of opportunities in real estate investment for both rental and condo development. And so we're seeing, and you will see as we tour the city, um, mid-rise townhouse, mid-rise condo development, apartment development in areas of the city where we haven't seen that activity uh, before. And places like Essa Road, which is uh, an interchange on Highway 400, but the the um, uh, arterial road itself is seeing a large number of development applications and a number that are actually under construction, quite large projects under construction. The other thing I would highlight to you uh, right now is that we've worked very hard as a council and as a community to try and make areas friendly for business as we possibly can. Uh, when, whenever you're in a, a position of being a, a regulator of anything, you can always improve your processes and make it easier for companies to do business here. But the business ambassadors group who are with us, uh, many of whom are with us today, and I think Stephanie, you're going to introduce the individuals um, uh, who are here, are part of a broader effort that we are making, uh, reaching out with our business community to try and be uh, as uh, uh, job-focused and uh, um, uh, business-oriented as we can be uh, in terms of opening the doors to new companies and, and the expansion of our existing companies. Uh, and I would tell you, you know, one of the key things that we control, of course, is taxes. Um, recently, the, there's a study that looks at all municipalities across Ontario and their tax burdens and their cost of doing business. Um, our industrial taxes for all cities over 100,000 berries are the very lowest in the province. And it's a point of pride for us, and it is something we wish to continue. Uh, we've also had some recent um, studies done uh, by KPMG who look at competitive advantage, and I know. Our presentation is going to talk about that. So I'm not going to steal any more thunder from our staff, but it, the message I really wanted to give to you as, um, as representatives of your community, as the leadership of the Chinese Business Associations is, uh, this is a community that uh, is geared for investment, where the economy is moving very, very quickly. And that real estate market is indicative of a continually growing population and a community whose story over the past 60 years has been growth. Uh, we were a very small central Ontario town not that long ago uh, when I was growing up here in the 1970s. And uh, today we're a medium-sized city. Uh, if we were sitting here in the evening, we would be looking at the GO trains that park across the street because we are the, the end of the Barry Line uh, here at Allendale Waterfront. And, and that train and uh, the, the businesses that are in this room and the, the work that is done um, uh, in the community increasingly is tied into a much broader regional economy uh, of the greater Toronto area. So we, we welcome you uh, today. Thank you very much. And on behalf of Council, Councillor uh, Rose Ramita is here. Uh, and, oh, Councillor Sergio Morales. Thanks for joining us, Sergio. Okay. Uh, I, I know they would join with me as members of Council saying, uh, uh, we see our job to make it as easy as possible to start and grow business in this community and to encourage investment. Uh, and uh, we hope we're doing some good things and we will continue to try and do things better. Uh, but we welcome the opportunity to talk to you about that today. And thank you very much for spending some time with us here.